Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a really simple decorated cupcake um, using piping rather than just frosting it. Uh, to do this, you're going to need one of these frosting bags. Wilton makes them. That's a really good cake product, cake making product company, or um, there's other companies that do it as well. Once you have got your bag, you're going to use the scissors and just trim off the end so that you can put the coupling on the tip and then screw this on over the tip. You don't technically have to have this piece that's here inside the bag. Um, however, most people do do that. The benefit of having that is if you want to change tips, you can go ahead and do that. Whereas if you put the tip inside the bag and then put in the frosting, it's a little more difficult to do that. Anyway, once you have your um, bag all ready, you're going to put your frosting in. So in order to keep things as tidy as possible, I usually roll the sleeve of the bag back a little before I put the frosting in just so it's not getting all goopy up here because then when you squeeze you get it all over your hands to try to keep it clean. So you just roll it back like that. And then I've got my bowl of frosting here and you're just going to stick the frosting in. Use your thumb on the outside of the bag to just kind of slide it off the spoon. And do a couple spoonfuls of that. And then, once that's done, you can unroll your bag, hold it up above most of the frosting, and you're gonna kinda work it down toward the tip, and twist it a little. Now, um, if you haven't worked with piping before, it's a good idea first to just do it on a plate or a tray or something. That way, if you need to practice a little, you can, because you can always just practice put it back into the bowl um, and reuse it. So for example, I mean, I've done this before lots of times, but you just can pipe it like that. You do wanna make sure there's not air in here. So if there's air, you know, either tap it on the counter or push it forward a little more, do it on a plate, just to make sure you're not getting little air bubbles cause that'll mess it up and make it look a lot less pretty. So once you have got confidence with your piping, this part is super easy. All you're gonna do, start in the center of your cupcake and you're just gonna squeeze and move in a circular motion, covering all the way to the outside and then start going to the inside like so. And so there you have our cupcakes and um, you can uh, just dive right in and eat them. If you like this video, be sure to like it below and uh, subscribe so that you can see some more of our household tips, um, gardening tips, canning tips. We do lots of different stuff. So anyway, see you next time. Thanks.